I attended a conference and it is about those who are leaders of different charismatic groups. And our speaker asked us the meaning of theology and spirituality. Some of us are, you know, thinking of really something impressive, especially some of us have taken theology. And then he gave us an answer, a simple answer, and he said, theology is the knowledge of God. You know God. You can study God. You can read a book that explains about God. You can read the scriptures. And later on, you will say that I have a knowledge of God. Or you can even know the gods <laughs> of others by studying and by reading. And he said that, that complementary to that, with regard to our faith, is the spirituality, which he later on defined as the experience of God. Not discounting the importance of theology, but he said that, well, you can have the knowledge of God, but it is an equal importance that you will have an experience of God. Both of our readings are experience of God. The people have experienced God, and God wanted to continuously be present to them by giving them commandments. By doing the commandments, you're loving your neighbor, and by loving your neighbor, you are loving God. Probably in the first reading, we have heard many of what we should not do. But as I said, complementary to that is what we have in the gospel for today. What shall I do then? Feed the hungry, clothe the naked, visit those who are in prison, those who are ill, and welcome those who are stranger. Telling us that if you want to have an experience of God, accompany your prayers with actions. Here, Jesus made it clear that whatsoever we do to the least of our brothers and sisters, you do unto me. It is not the only time that Jesus made himself present with his people when Saul was persecuting Christians. He met Jesus in the way to Damascus. And he went, when he was asked, Why, soul, you are persecuting me by Jesus? Tumangi si Paul, or si Saul. Sabi, hindi naman ikaw. But Saul was persecuting Christians. Saul, before his conversion, was there when Stephen was stoned to death. And so with this, may we learn from what we have heard. To know God, of course, but also to experience Him. As Bishop Lagdameo told us in one of the conferences I attended, he said that the closer you go to the people of God, the closer you go to the heart of God. Pag lumalapit ka sa iyong kapwa, ay lumalapit ka rin sa puso ng Diyos. Three weeks ago, I was there in Tomas Morato. 
for a haircut on one of the fancy barber shops to have an experience. No? And of course, minsan masarap yung ganun eh. Gugupitan ka. Diba? Medyo kakamot-kamutin yung ulo mong ganun. <laughs> Paglabas ko, sakay ako ng sasakyan ng kotse. May lumapit sa akin na isang namamalimos. What I did was, I put some coins on her plastic cup. But before she went away, I realized that I have a mamon in my car. It was there for a day already. And I said, psh, 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 I don't know the name. Eh. And narinig naman ako agad, and lumapit siya sa akin. And then I gave her the bread. And then after that, I followed her. And then, not from afar, she stopped to Miguel. At alam nyo, tiningnan niya yung tinapay. And then nagsimula siyang magantanda. Started to pray. And it was relatively long prayer because I was still able to get my phone and able to start the camera of my phone and then a short video, siguro mga four or five seconds, bago siya matapos magdasal. And I said, well, ganun pala. To experience God present in others. Sabi ko nga, parang ako yata ang nilimusan niya. I was the one no, who was given alms. Why? Because with her great gestures of prayer, no, my heart was filled with that presence of God. So again, let us encounter God through others by feeding, by giving them drink, by giving them clothes, by giving them our time and attention, by listening, by visiting them. Amen.